Goodness, there's a ton. Um, so we've been working very close. We've been working very closely with USDA, with DISA on some of their programs um, around um, getting devices into people's hands, tactical uh, devices as well as knowledge workers. I want to key on something that Dave and Tom were talking about, though. That I think it's pretty important to, to hit on, which is. I think, and we see this in DOD and we see this in civilian, we see kind of cloud and mobile being the peas and carrots, right? I mean, they, they kind of come in together. And if you right. look at what happened in the consumer world, um, most applications that live on a mobile device have a, have a data component that lives somewhere. And in most cases, it's in the cloud. Right. And I think mobile's kind of forcing the public sector to do a few things. One is to kind of acknowledge that and move a little bit to cloud. And where do we always start? It's always email. So it's going to be your Office 365. And then you're going to move beyond that to collaboration and other cool stuff. But the other thing it's doing is it's it's requiring folks like Tom to, to build that center of excellence because it's really requiring folks to move a lot faster than they've ever been used to moving. Right. Um, you know, I kind of liken it to the, the legacy Windows world that we used to live in, even when it was laptops. It was it was a kind of a different world. Um, now Microsoft is kind of bringing you know their platform to mobility versus the other way around, which is kind of forcing all of us to move a lot faster. Um, so customers like USDA, DISA. Um, we're doing a project uh, with uh, DHS s and around wearables and, and cool. IoT. So um, all of that stuff is just exploding. The, the number of applications that this stuff can apply to is really limitless. Yeah, it really is. 